So imagine you're in a lot of debt to the tune of over $150,000 like me. Are you going to panic? Are you going to fake your own death? No, you're going to execute precise strategies to get out of it. I'm Afro Senpai, and I hope to make everybody feel comfortable about investing by documenting my own journey in becoming a millionaire. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the debt avalanche to get out of debt and why I'm using it as opposed to the debt snowball method. But either way, we're gonna take this large balance down to zero. Let's go. The biggest difference between debt snowball and debt avalanche is for debt snowball, you'll stack your debts according to lowest balance to highest balance. With the theory being, if you have a couple of $200 accounts you'll pay those off quickest. And that momentum of eliminating debt will keep you happy and motivated to finish off the rest of your debt. The last two or three times I've been in debt, I've used the debt snowball and it works great. But now I have bigger balances with bigger interest rates because I needed access to money and rates were not favorable at the time. So I'm gonna be using debt avalanche. Debt avalanche is the process of stacking your debts according to how high the interest rates are. I'm a pretty motivated person in general, so I don't need the high of eliminating smaller debts to keep me motivated. And if you were to do the numbers, you'll save more money doing avalanche. But most people don't do it because it takes longer. And after a year or so, they don't have the motivation to keep doing it because the majority of their debts have not been eliminated. And you may be looking at the chart and saying, well, shouldn't that best egg account be above the upgrade account because it does have the highest rate? And the answer is yes, typically speaking. But because that upgrade account was a credit card slash personal line of credit, they have been decreasing my credit limit since the bad rates began. Most likely they're probably nervous that people are going to be in a bad position in the future and they want to cover their own butts. Because I personally don't like that and I think it's a shady business move, I'm going to eliminate them first and then go after the best egg account. So the game plan is pretty straightforward. We're going to throw all available money at these accounts and once a balance is paid in full, that minimum payment becomes my new balance. So let's say I have about $500 to use towards these debts. Once I eliminate the upgrade account, I'll be able to add the minimum payment, which is 350 onto my current payment. So I'll be able to attack best egg with an additional 850 moving forward. So on and so forth. Once each debt gets paid, you add on the minimum payment to your free cash flow so you can eliminate debt faster. If you want to see the snowball in action, I've done other videos on that. I will link them at the end of this video. These X's indicate my current nine to five job can take care of these payments. So it's these ones down here that I have to worry about and have to use dividend income to pay back. And then I figured out how much money I should be paying in interest and I added the interest on to the minimum payment so the loan can get taken away faster. Now, I want people to be educated on the things that you can do. You just have to have knowledge. A lot of times we don't know that stuff is available because we never seen people in our circle do it. So here I am putting stuff on full display so you can nitpick, take out pieces, adapt, do your own thing with it. If you found value in this video, please pay that like tax. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Share this with somebody who feels like debt is always slapping them in the face and they need relief and they need help. And until the next one, remember to smile because you are beautiful. Peace.